Hi students, today we are going to study chapter number 2 of class 7. The name of chapter is classification of plants. In this chapter, we are going to cover various topics such as what is classification, what is need of classification, what are the advantages of classification. Then after that, we will classify the organisms in two kingdom classification then after we will study about the five kingdom classification which was given by Whittaker then what are the examples of each kingdom and the characteristic features of kingdom planty as well as of other kingdoms also so here the very first thing what we have to understand is the word classification what does this word classification means the very first answer to classification is arranging or grouping the organism or anything in a systematic groups categories according to the specific characters this classification is also known as taxonomy okay for remembering classification units we can write it as k p c o f g and s here k stands for kingdom P for phylum, C for class, O for order, F for family, G for genus, S for species. Dear students, this sequence is given to deal with the study of anomalous of organisms present in the diversity. It is impossible to study each and every organism whenever they are not classified. So, the very first thing what is done to classify is we group the organism according to their similarities and dissimilarities. There comes the definition of classification. Biological classification is the scientific system of arranging organisms into groups and subgroups on the basis of their similarities and dissimilarities. Listen, this kingdom phylum order family, genus, these all things are groups and subgroups. On the basis of specific characters, organisms are divided amongst specific classification units. Already I have told you about the classification units. These are the specific classification units in which we divide the organism, right? After that, to identify and describe different kind of organism, to place the organism in various categories on their basis of similarities and dissimilarities, build a true natural system of classification gives an idea of origin and evolution. Okay students, so next topic in this chapter is needs for classification. So the very first need is study of various organisms. It is not possible to study every organism at a time. The study of one or two organism of a group gives the sufficient information about the essential features of that group. It means if we will study one or two organism of that group, we will get, we'll get enough of information about the whole group, right? The next point is to find the locality of the organism. All, uh, see, all types of organism live in different localities. Like some live in aquatic, aquatic habitat, some in terrestrial habitat. So, all these habitats are considered to be the locality of the organism. The third point is identification. Without a proper systematic classification, organism could not be identified. So, classification is needed for the identification of the organism to study the organisms of the past so classification not only gives the example it gives the explanation about the organisms which are present now but it also gives us the information about the fossils what are fossils fossils are the animals or plants which lived thousand years ago or thousand years back 
the animals and the plants which were found as they are not now they are considered to be the fossils or the organisms of past then next need for the classification is evolution and significance significance is the importance to know the importance of the organism or the group classification is needed evolution evolution and origin so where does this organism is originated right for finding the origin of the organism we need classification so now we are going to study about advantages of classification what are the advantages of classification it makes the study of organisms easy and convenient it means that if an organism is classified we will be a, we will be easily able to found the proper characteristic features of the organism identification of organism it is very important classification is done for the identification of organism as well as plants and animals right relationship and interlinks interlinks means characteristics which are common which are common those comes in interlink increase in complexity of the structure it shows evolutionary trends in various groups of organism by revealing gradually increase in the complexity of structure in those organism it means that with the increase in phylum or with the increase in kingdom the complexity of structure also increase structure may be considered to be the body structure right the structure is considered to be the body structure of the organism then next point is general characteristics if we are studying a group if we are taking a group of a classification and if we are studying the general characteristics so all the organisms which lie under that uh, particular phylum group or kingdom have the same characteristics or have the general characteristics of the kingdom or phylum which we are studying so the next point is it help us to know organism of other localities other localities means if the organism is living in water we will be able to know about all the water organism or we can say all the organism which live in aquatic habitat next is to study fossils already i have told you the meaning of fossils what are fossils fossils are the animals or the plants which lived 1000 or more than 1000 years ago on the earth 